Some people think that fear is the end, a place where you stop, back away, and turn around. But I believe that fear is the beginning of something worth uncovering. So I keep going, not knowing how things turn out. Hello, good morning. It is Friday, February 18th, 2022, and today I'm launching my website. How exciting is that? Also, today is a day that I'm doing a Zoom launch. I've never done this before. I've never hosted a meeting on Zoom. This is the first time I actually downloaded the app on my desktop and actually hooked it up to make sure it works. So yeah, this is all super new to me because I would never have done this stuff before. It's nerve wracking. <laughs> But it's one of those things that I realized that has been hindering me from doing everything that I want to do. I see other people so natural just getting on the camera and just talking and being very interesting. So I want to get there too because I know I have a lot to offer. And I know I'm not boring. So, okay, so I have to interrupt and really be super honest with you guys because this is what the video is about. But I was not going to share this video because when I recorded it, it was only for my patrons. It was in a very safe space that I thought I was gonna share it, but I thought that it was gonna be so helpful for anybody who was going through anxiety or fear to the point where they don't wanna share things just like this. And I really wanna overcome this stuff this year, so this is what I'm doing. After a lot of encouragement and me changing about my self-talk, here I'm doing it so let's continue but just remember this was almost not going to happen I don't know why I have that thought in my head that oh they can do it I can't do it but this is the year like that's it like no more of those hindering limiting beliefs all of those things whatever you want to call it I'm working on that so today 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 it is it we're doing this today so what I have to do is clean up my space to make it as clean as possible. I do work in my dining room at the moment. I gotta figure a lot of things out if I wanna create a studio here, but I'm going to clean the space I'm in at this very moment, set up this camera, the camera I'm using right now, as my webcam and make sure that everything looks okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's like getting on a Zoom call with friends, except, you know, high definition. <laughs> Things I got from a book sale. So I gotta clean these up. Oh, this is such a good book. This is probably one of my favorite books right now. Illustrated by Lane Smith. He's an amazing illustrator. Look at this. Look at that expression. Look at, this is all of my stuff. I need to clean that. I'm gonna make sure that all the piles of stuff that I have out there is put away and cleaned up and I know it's gonna it's gonna make the space feel so much lighter. Right now it just feels super heavy because um, there's a lot of packages and all that stuff that's there from just living. So I'm so excited about that to finally clean that up and organize things and then I will be setting things up. Did I say that already? Okay. I think my brain's a little. Let's just go clean up now. Something about you Pull me closer 
I think we can get lost in the unknowns of our fears. It's like getting tangled in pitch darkness and you can't see anything to untangle yourself or know what's tangling you. It leaves you feeling stuck, grasping for a way out, but no idea how. We can make fear so big that it can take up space from inspiration, joy, and even feeling alive to the point where being afraid is all we can think about. Thoughts like, what if this isn't good enough? Or what if someone doesn't like it? Or what if everybody doesn't like it? And all of these thoughts, they stop us from being creative and it makes us feel so blocked. If anyone ever told me to get over my fears, I wouldn't even understand what that means. And I know that they don't know what it means to be so fearful it stops you from doing the very things you've dreamed of doing for so long. Like making or sharing the art that you love, playing and experimenting and being okay with that. And ultimately being the person that you want to be, living the life you're so proud of that's full of light and love, not heaviness and hindrance. For such a long time, I would avoid the things that I was afraid of. I didn't want to share my face or my work because I feared being judged. But at about every point where I knew if I'd do this one thing, take this one step, I'd grow or improve something, I could just feel fear pulling me back into the darkness. And it was getting so frustrating and I wanted to fight back, get over it. I wanted to scratch and claw a fear to get out of my way. But it doesn't work like that. I just get angry, frustrated, and then exhausted. Then I wondered, what would happen if I tried to understand my fear? Moving towards it versus away or against it. What if I shed light on it, took the mystery away from it, and be comfortable with it? Most of the time, my fears come from not knowing. Others are rooted deeply in traumatic memories that only therapy can help me let go. But the small fears, I know I can figure them out. I think of these fears like solid walls. You can't see beyond them. The more fears you have, the more you're blocked in, with less opportunities to break free or see through them. But what if we saw fear as glass walls what if we could stand on one side of fear and see through to the possibilities? How freeing would that be? Because when you follow your dreams, you will surely also be following your fears. And I know it'll lead you to so many amazing things if you choose to see it that way. Okay, I got everything set up the way I want to. I'm now filming on my phone because my camera is going to be in its place so that I'm ready when this thing happens. Oh my gosh. Um, lighting looks good. I'm thankful that it's sunny outside right now and I have this light and then let me show you my setup. So I have my, so I have my camera here and it's set up using the micro USB right here. Micro USB. Oh yeah. So instead of using micro USB and then a dummy battery that's hooked up right there and that's hooked up to the power outlet which is down there yeah what a mess but that's hooked up to this dock here and I'm hoping that doesn't give away because it's the first time I'm using this dock and then this is lighting for me I really need a better chair <laughs> I'm sitting on top of a throw pillow and a cushion and that's my heat blanket because it's super cold next to this window but the window is nice right now because of the lighting and then I have this top lighting and then that back lighting and look at this face look how nice it is now so much cleaner Hello? Hello? Hi, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you see me? Yes, yes, I can. Let me start my video. Oh Hi. my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really pretending.
productive, guys. Really productive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's 1.30. Should we do this thing? Yes. Do wanna... yeah. Okay, let's do this. Do it. <laughs> okay. Are we just going to do this? Hopefully. <laughs> Is that and then hit save? It's done. Good. Oh, oh, Stop share and then oh and yeah. then end. Like can probably <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm about to click it. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs>I'm so excited because I didn't know that this piece was going to end up looking so minimalist, so simple, just absolutely gorgeous. I really wanted to tell the story of the bunny who is so fearful that it is hiding underneath a leaf and the bear being super comforting comes and lifts the leaf off the bunny. I am nowhere near done yet, so I'm gonna keep working on it, get more inspired by doing a lot more research and playing around with color, texture, and all that stuff, but right now, it's so beautiful. Oh my